What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comments section. How high are you on Josiah Gray? Do you think he'll be an ace frontline starting pitcher, a middle rotation guy, or more of a four or five starter in a rotation. You think he'll end up in the bullpen. I want all your takes on Josiah Gray. Let me know down below in the comments section. And also, does having Josiah Gray change what the Dodgers need to do at the trade deadline? Give me your takes down below. And for all the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. So it's gray day, people. Josiah Gray season is here. Today, the Dodgers' top pitching prospect will make his major league debut. And I brought in my friend, Tim Rogers. He runs the site Dodgers2080.com. He's the Dodgers prospect guru. And he's going to answer all our Josiah Gray questions in just a second. What to expect, an inside look on Josiah Gray. But first, if you're not caught up on the Dodgers' top pitching prospect, don't worry, I got you. The Dodgers got Josiah Gray from the Cincinnati Reds. You remember that trade back in 2019? L.A. sent Matt Kemp, Kyle Farmer, Alex Wood, and Yasio Puig to Cincinnati in exchange for Josiah Gray, Jeter Downs, and Homer Bailey. It was basically the Dodgers taking on Homer Bailey's contract, which is a little over $30 million left on it. They also shedded some salary themselves, and then they would eventually ship off Jeter Downs to the Boston Red Sox in the Mookie Betts trade, and then they would develop Josiah Gray. So in the Dodgers farm system, he flourished. He had a meteoric rise. He won the 2019 Meyer League Pitcher of the Year. And then, of course, there was no Meyer Leagues in 2020. And then this year in 2021, after his first start in AAA, he missed over two months with a right shoulder impingement. So he has missed some significant time. He made his first start back on July 7th. And so far, he's pitched 15 and two-thirds innings at the minor league level. He has 22 strikeouts, two walks, a 2.87 ERA. But the Dodgers just made official just moments ago they tweet out the Dodgers selected the contract of right-handed pitcher Josiah Gray and plays left-handed pitcher Scott Alexander on the injured list with left shoulder inflammation in order to make room on the 40-man roster the Dodgers designated infielder Andy Burns for assignment so it is officially officially Josiah Gray's season and I can't wait I can't wait to see that electric fastball that plus slider but let's get right into some Josiah Gray talk with Dodgers prospect guru Mr. Tim Rogers. So, Tim, the last time we spoke, we talked about Ryan Pepio. Now, he might be the guy that would get the call up as Josiah Gray was continuing to ramp up, making his way back from that right shoulder impingement. Tim, my question is, why do you think the Dodgers said the time is now for Josiah Gray? In his last, well, it wasn't a start. It was a, like, it was an opener. He had an opener for him um, in which he, he threw, uh, was it four and a third or four and two thirds? I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Um, and you know, get in exceeding 70 pitches and, uh, he did really well. And so I guess the Dodgers felt that he was uh, ready enough. I think that's another reason they're probably going to go with the opener today. I guess they didn't want to quite pull the trigger yet on Pepio. I understand that. Um, and it's, uh, I think I agree with the call. Um, I did, just didn't think that, um, Pepio or uh, that uh, Gray uh, was going to be quite ready injury wise, but he is. So that's good. So, yeah, it's like, are you ever really ready for this show? Right. But duty calls, desperate times call for desperate measures. And Josiah Gray is going to be in action tonight. So, Tim, tell me what we can expect from Josiah Gray tonight and in the near future. What kind of role you think he'll have as he gets acclimated to the bigs? And what kind of role do you think he'll have for the rest of the season? I think it's going to be um, for the next couple, three starts as he's still ramps up um, four to five innings um, I, I expect him to do you know to do well enough he's gonna throw strikes um, there uh, he has, just has to be careful not to get too comfortable out there and, and throw something right down the middle because these guys will will make you pay as uh, as we saw that yesterday in the first inning against Gonzalez 
Yeah, and that's one thing I'm really excited to see is the command on that fastball. You've heard people talk about it. I want to see it in action at the big league level. But as long as he floods the zone with strikes, you know that slider is very effective. I think that he's calm. He's cool. I think he's going to get it done tonight for the Dodgers. Now, the next question I wanted to ask you was how do you feel about the Dodgers putting him in this spot? You got the division rivals, the hated San Francisco Giants, the team with the best record in Major League Baseball. Do you think they're throwing him into the fire? a little bit how do you feel with how they're making his debut against this Giants team um it's d definitely a big spot obviously I mean there's no question about that um and it's probably not the most ideal but if anyone can handle it it's it's Josiah Gray I've you know I covered him uh I started his at Rancho uh, in 2019 he was um you know pitch, he pitched seven seven innings there and but what I you know when I when I'm there at Rancho, the uh, cam camera wells at the very end of the dugout. And so you could see the way he is. I could see that, you know, he's a very mature guy for his age. I've always thought he carried himself really well. And so um, I think he's the type of person that can handle it. Um, he just it seems to, he's a very, he seems to be very easygoing um, and, and just has the character uh, to handle these types of situations. And Tim, you know my favorite thing when it comes to prospects is getting some comps. Give me some comps for Josiah Gray. Um, I struggled with this a little bit. I was thinking about that. You know, who, who does he compare with? And so I did a little cheating. Um, I found a, a website that had a really good overview of him, and it was Prospects Worldwide. And they talked about um, Carlos Carrasco, uh, now of the Mets, formerly, formerly with Cleveland. And that made a lot of sense. Um, I think in terms of, you know, he's not a big guy. So um, they say he's 6'1", uh, okay, maybe. Um, and he is a converted shortstop. Um, that's where he played in college. And I, I would I would just say, um, you know, other, if you think about some of the, quote, shorter pitchers, I mean, 6'1", six, 6'0", six is not short. Um, but I guess in the pitching world, it is. Um, you know, you think maybe a little bit of Walker Buehler. They say he's 6'2". I don't think so. Um, they, you know, they um, they come in, they can come right at you. They throw a lot of strikes. Um, with Josiah, though, the difference is um, he's going to come in with, with, with a slider. That's his main out pitch. And right now he's kind of, a, in some ways, you would say he's a two-pitch pitcher. So he's got to work his curveball and change up, which are good pitches, especially the curveball. Um, so, but he's got to at least have he's got to th have three pitches if he wants to go more than uh, more than one time through the order. So Tim, that is music to my ears. If we can get Josiah Gray to be anywhere close to being as good as Walker Buehler, I think all Dodger fans would be ecstatic. Will he get that fastball from a velocity standpoint up to where Butane gets it? I'm not sure about that, but I definitely love that comparison. I would love to see it. Now, Tim, you know I can't let you go without you giving me a prediction for how his MLB debut is going to go tonight. How do you think Josiah Gray Fairs in his first big league action. Um, Doc's going to be a little careful with them, so I'm going to go four innings, uh, one run, um, five Ks, no walks. Nice. Maybe three hits. So that was my friend, Mr. Prospect Guru, Tim Rogers. You can follow him on Twitter and Instagram at SD Dodger. No one on this earth knows more about Dodger prospects than Tim Rogers. Go to his website, Dodgers2080.com. But let me know down below in the comments, how high are you on Josiah Gray? Do you think he'll be an elite frontline starter? Do you think he'll be a solid middle rotation guy? Do you see him as a four or five starter? Do you think he'll end up in the bullpen? I want all your takes on Josiah Gray. Another question. Question, will his play dictate what the Dodgers do at the trade deadline? I want all your takes down below in the comment section. Also, if you want to predict how his first action will go, be sure to do so. But my name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all latest Dodgers Nation merch, head over to GearUp.LA, some of the best Dodgers t-shirt designs in the game. You're going to find it right over there at www.GearUp.LA. For the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.